Hello, in this clip we will discuss the base formula and, and this base formula has a lot of applications in uh, machine learning and AI. Uh, in the first clips we will probably discuss mainly on the, uh, the example of the uh, usage of the base formula. Okay, so the first example is uh, it's a, this simple spam mail problem, okay? So you know what a spam mail is, right? So if you look at these two emails, uh, this first one uh, and this second one, um, which one do you think is, is a spam? Yeah, clearly it's, it's, it's this one, right? So it's clearly uh, this one. This one looks like a normal okay email right so for those which are okay email we call we're gonna call it a ham and for for those that are uh, a bad email that advertisement emails we call it our, a, a spam okay all right so uh, how can we guess if an email is a spam or not okay uh, for us hu uh, human we just look at the email text and and we can make a few simple uh, observations like if you look at the the email text and we see the word uh, like cheap or extremely cheap or curry or something that looks like an advertisement so we, we think it's it, it is a spam okay um, can we quantify this oh. okay so so to we want we want to write a program that uh, classify emails into uh, spam mail and ham mails okay so we we start by uh, write down the beliefs that we have for spam and ham mails and then we can do that from if you have a lot of uh, if you have collected email data and there are some and you can find many of them on the internet and with this data we can uh, estimate various properties of of a, a, a typical email okay a typical email and what are they like? Like we might we might be able to say that uh, if you collect all the emails and 40% uh, of emails are are spam, and while the rest 60% are ham. Maybe this number is wrong, but this is just for for an example. And we also try, might wanna try to write a belief related to the word cheap. Okay, so. Yeah, we, we may guess that uh, spam mails are more likely to contain the word cheap. Okay, so we can use collected data and, and we might be able to say something like this. Like if an email is a spam with probability 80%, uh, uh, it will contain the word cheap. And if it is a ham, uh, with probability only 20% uh, that it will contain the word cheap. Okay, so we re can rewrite our knowledge using the language of probabilities. Okay, so we, we our experiment that we probably not gonna perform it, but we can think of it this way. So we wanna pick a random email from a sample those sample space, and there are three events that we are, we are interested in. One is the event S, that's the event that a random email is a spam, and another random event H is that uh, an event that random email is a ham which is not a spam so from this we know that these two events are um, uh, mutually exclusive and and they uh, somehow uh, the union of of these two events uh, is the sample space and we also have an event C which is an event that random email contain the word cheap okay there are three ev three events Okay, so we can draw a Venn diagram. So this is the sample space of all sample space of all emails, and and this sample space is divided into two subsets. One is S. Oh, sorry, S is not uh, a sample space anymore. So this is a, it's a space of uh, this is an event that a random email is is a spam. And another is a ham. Another subset is a ham. And we know that uh, there's another event, C, 
which is the email contained over a chip that it, it might look like this okay so if you're in if you're in spam part uh, the probability that you would contain the word cheap is a lot, right? Like 80%. But if you're in the ham part, uh, the probability that you're going to contain the word cheap is only like 20%. Okay, so this is the example of uh, the events that we are looking for. And we can write it as with the probability not notations like this. So we, we, we say the probability that of the event S is 0.4 the probability of the event H is 0.6 and and given that you are a spam mail you're gonna contain the word chip with probability 0 0.8 and on the other hand if you are a ham you're gonna have the word chip with probably only 0 0.2 all right so um, with this simple model we can talk a little bit more about uh, uh, the probabilities about of various event right so if we got an email without looking at its text at all this is an email so what's the probability that it is a spam so this is p of s right and this is 0 0.4 right so what's the probability that it is a ham so this is p of h so that's equal 1 point p of s right and that's 0 0.6 and this, these are simple facts that we get from the model. And we can also think about this. Uh, we, if we get an email, okay, and we look at it, and th there's a word cheap in it. So we would like to know if it, uh, if it is a spam or if it's, it, it's a ham. So this is a more uh, interesting application of the model, right? So we want to compute. What, what do we want to compute? We know that this is the word cheap, right? So we want to compute the probability that so if it's a spam right so we want to compute the probability that an e a random email is a spam right so this is s but this is the exact uh, probability that we want to compute yeah we, we want to compute probability of s right but we know that this is another information that we have we know that it is it, this email contains the word cheap so what we want is, is this probably that it is spam given that it contains the word cheap and also if it's a ham or not right so we want to compute p of h given c right so uh, this is what we want to compute but so this is our problem okay we want to compute this and that so basically this one just this one is enough kind of, uh, probably and what what we know do we know the value of this exactly uh, not 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 quite right. We only only know probability of s, probability of, of h, and and these two uh, conditional probabilities, but we don't know exactly this. It's 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 backward, right? So we know that uh, if it is spam, you're gonna the probability that it is it contains the word cheap is this, but if it contains the word cheap, what's the probability that this email is a spam? So it's, it's this one. So it's backward. It's not the same thing, right? All right. So what what do we do? So we we should try to follow the definition. Okay. So we want to compute the probability that uh, the email is a spam, given that it contains the word cheap. And by the definition, what what, what do we have? We have that probability that th th by the definition. So this is probability of S spam and C over probability of C okay and and can you find this out can you uh, find the first thing out so again S is not the sample space sorry I, I used the bad annotation but anyway so it's, S is a spam so can you find this and can you also find this uh, so recall that what we know is we know p of s, we know p of h, we know p of c given s, we know p of c given s complement. Okay, so this is equal to h, right? Okay, right. So this is what we know, right? And can can you compute these two probabilities? 
Okay, so this is the question of this segment. And please try to work on it before watching the next one. All right, have fun. I'll see you next.